In today's video, we will be going through the process of installing Oracle Virtual Box on macOS environment. So let's get to it. All right. So like I mentioned in today's video, we will be going through the process of installing Oracle Virtual Box on macOS environment. And the environment for Mac that I have is uh, for Apple M3. So I'm using uh, Apple M3 chip and uh, this is macOS Sonoma. But if you have previous versions for macOS uh, that use Apple chip M1, M2, I think the process should be very similar. Okay, so um, before we get into it, uh, so let's just quickly explain what VirtualBox does and what it is. VirtualBox is a free and open source virtualization software and it was developed by Oracle and it allows users to run multiple operating systems simultaneously on a single machine okay so this is a type of uh, a hypervisor and this is specifically type 2 uh, which means that it runs on top of your existing operating system all right so basically what this means is that you can install virtual box and create virtual machines on top of it and install other operating systems so if you're running mac for example you can install um, windows inside your virtual box uh, you can also create a VM to run Ubuntu. Uh, you can also run, let's see here, you can run Linux and Solaris uh, operating systems. Uh, okay, so you can use VirtualBox to install other operating systems and run uh, those operating systems within your VirtualBox and interact with it. Okay, so in this video, we will be going through the process of installing uh, VirtualBox on your mac os all right so let's get to it so to do that uh, all you have to do is go to uh, if you type virtual box download uh, you should be able to see the download page and uh, this is uh, one of that so just open that and uh, as you can see this website is virtualbox.org and uh, this is the download page uh, so to download virtual box for mac os just go to this box here uh, where it lists the platform packages so you can see here we have uh, download installers for windows we have for mac os to run on intel chips and also we have uh, for mac os to run on apple silicon um, the rest of these other ones you can also install a uh, virtual box on linux distribution solaris and uh, solaris 11 one uh, ps host okay uh, but in this video we will just install it for mac os so like i, I said again i do have mac os uh, running on apple m3 so this is apple m chip uh, so that means that we want to install uh, this one that runs on apple silicon, silicon hosts so i'm just going i'm just going to go ahead and uh, open this and this is going to basically start the download and uh, you can see that did not take a long time so we have the dmg file uh, downloaded so i'm just going to open it to begin the installation process okay so i'm going to increase this one and uh all we have to do here is basically double click this uh package file here so i'm just going to do that and that should be able to start our installation process so we'll go ahead and click continue uh the destination I'm going to install it for all users for this computer. We go next, and then the installation type. This is going to be a standard install on Mac, uh, Mac HD. That's fine with that. I'm going, but if you want to change that, you can just hit change uh, install location. And then uh, you need to enter the password for your Mac. So I'm just going to do that here. All right, so once you put your password, so basically, again, that is the password that you use to log in your Mac. So just enter it and your installation will be complete. Okay, so you can see here the message saying the installation was successful. So I'm just going to hit close here and I will just uh, move this to trash. I don't need it anymore. Okay. All right, so once that is done, uh, you can eject this one from the um, disk if you want or you can leave it. Uh, and now you have your uh, virtual box installed so to open it just go to launchpad 
and you will see virtual box right here so just go ahead and click it to open and this will open your virtual box and uh, you if you uh, like for example this one i previously was working with it so it still remembers my previous uh, state so you can see here i was um i created a virtual uh, a fear machine for Upuntu and one for windows uh but basically from here uh to create a virtual machine inside your inside your virtual box all you have to do is hit click uh new and then just enter the name uh, so for example let's say you wanted to install uh, ubuntu the latest version for example uh, let's say ubuntu i think it's 24 i believe uh, ld24 and uh, so you do that so you, you put the name and uh, it will automatically recognize it if it's listed uh, so for this one it's, it's it's recognized that this is a linux operating system and uh, the subtype is ubuntu so you do have uh, some fashions here if you want to be specific and then uh so once you put the name here uh the folder where your virtual um box vms is this one here and uh you can choose to uh, also specify the iso image here. so this is basically the operating system that you want to run inside your virtual box so you can have iso image for windows you can have one for uh Yupanto, um or some other Linux distribution like Kali Linux if you want to install it and all of those. Sorts. Um, so you can do that. Uh, you can just basically go to the location where you are uh, ISO image and um, select it here. And then go ahead and click next. For this case, we are not going to uh, select this because I don't have an ISO image currently downloaded. Uh, but in the previous, I mean in the, in the next videos, I will be going uh, in detail through this so we'll cover how you create a fear machine for windows you plan to distributions and uh, some other operating systems inside virtual box uh, but in this video i'm just showing you how you go about that process in in case you have the iso image available all right so just go ahead and click next and then right here this is where you specify the disk um a specification i mean so for this one uh, you can choose the memory so you can increase it or reduce it so for me i have as i'm running on a 16 gp ram so you can uh, increase this if you're running you want to you can put 4 gp uh you also can specify the processors that uh you want your fear machine to run on uh, i have 16 virtual cpus here uh, you can increase as needed maybe you can say let's run on four two or one or you can leave it as one um and you can also enable efi for special uh, operating systems uh i'm just going to leave that checked anyway because i don't have any iso image but um yeah you'll have to read a little bit on whether you want this enabled or not uh and then you can choose the disk size as well so i'm just going to leave this as default and uh click next and basically this is your summary for your operating system and uh hit finish okay just click finish and it looks like uh, this one is not creating because I believe I do have a fear machine with this name so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that so if I go here I do have one here I'm going to move this to trash I think I created it earlier and let's see if we can try that again okay it's not working so um yeah again the reason for that one is because i do have a fear machine here already so that's one of the things that you have to note i'm just going to delete these guys here okay i'm going to move this to trash and i'm just going to also remove these guys here as well and let's quickly go through that but i think you already get the idea right you you get the idea okay let's say 24 lt all right and uh we'll go next here i'm going to leave the virtual see i'm just going to leave all of the defaults in place yeah so you can see the summary here and then just go ahead and finish so that should um create your fear instance 
if you do not specify the ISO image when you're creating like the way we did, uh, once you download your ISO image, I just go to settings and I believe uh, it is in display, go to storage devices and you'll see this one says empty here, just hit this and uh, choose a, a disk file. So this will uh, open um, your explorer and you can navigate to where you install your ISO image and then select it and click OK. And um, if there are some other settings, you can specify them here. So you can even increase your storage sizes uh, here as well. If you want to increase your display, you can increase that, uh, monitors and some other uh, settings, you can do so right here. Okay. Um, you can also, I think, include a shared folder if you want your a fear machine to share a certain folder with your host operating system. I think you can do that here. All right, and uh, you'll see them in the shared folders here. Okay, uh, these are some other settings, but yeah, so this is basically how you can uh, customize the settings for your VM environment. Um, just going to say discard this and then after that just go ahead and uh, double click this to start your fear machine or uh, you can go and also start there will be a start button right there uh, you can do that as well okay so this one is not going to work for me because I don't have the image available but that is how you can create a VM instance within your virtual box all right guys so that is all I had for you in this video I just wanted to quickly show you how to install virtual box and uh, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please do click the subscribe button and also like this video so that it can reach wider audience. I do have some other videos also in this channel if you're interested I have made videos on GCP, I have made a number of videos on TPT and I will be releasing more on virtualization um, uh, as well. So do definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to stay updated uh, but yeah that's all I have for you guys in this video i will see you next time all right bye bye